<laughs> he has it in the um in the Discord. And one of the thing one of the things on the Obongo board is <clears throat> there's a paper plate in the uh the YouTube thumbnail. <laughs> well, that's the new regular. That's too much. One thing I really love about this community is how well they know us. <laughs> right? Like they 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 know me better than my family does, I think. <laughs> paper plates are the uh communication method of the future. Uh we'll be starting in a second, everybody. Is that to us or are you on YouTube now? I well I told you we're going live, so <laughs> it's to everybody. That's good, that's good. That's out. So much to do, and I'm going to forget some of it. Don't forget to tweet out the link. I just did that right now. Thank you. You're welcome. Which is, yeah, unusual for me. All right. I think we're ready. Uh, nope, I'm not ready. Okay, now I'm ready. I'm not ready yet. Three, two, one. Nope. Go Nintendo Podcast <laughs> episode. 767, the Wimpod Podcast, the Go Nintendo Podcast. It's a part of the Greenlit Podcast Network at greenlitpodcast.com. Uh, my brain, will you tell us about Wimpod, please? Hold on. I got somebody sending me some. Wim as in like whimsical? I don't know. You're going to find out right now. Tell us about Wimpod, <coughs> please. Or, or maybe it's a wimp. I think you'll find out if you read. This Pokemon is a coward. Hmm. Jeez, I mean, I would hate for that to it's be the stupid, and its family is dumb, and it smells, and it's garbage. I mean, imagine like there's like a a whole like Wikipedia about people, and like under my name, the first thing it says is wimp. this person is a coward, big, like big stupid wimp. Well, Jeez. like wimpy in hamburgers, he's I a wimp. But he likes hamburgers. Only wimps like hamburgers. That's the message. Call me a wimp. I love a good <laughs> burger. Uh, so this Pokemon is a coward as it desperately dashes off the flailing of its many legs leaves a sparkling clean path in its wake. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Wimpod! <laughs> so wait, I can, I can bring a Wimpod to my house and insult it and threaten it and it'll clean my floors? That's... Yeah, you make fun of it and then you say, now clean my room. This sounds like a really bad relationship. And I guess then, technically you can do that with a Roomba too. It just won't respond. I imagine and then you, Wimpod you take it into respond. the living room and you go, you you go, you call this clean in the bedroom, and then you chase it into the living room, and then you're like, that cleaning job was terrible. You are terrible, and then it like it cleans your living room. I don't like free this. charge. Wimpod. They're a foot tall. They're 26 pounds. They're male and female. The category is turn tail, and its ability is the same as mine. <laughs> Wimp out. <laughs> That's my favorite thing. Wimp out. <laughs> yes. Turn tail is its type. Category. 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 Uh, how is many turn more? Tail. I, re I wonder how many more Pokemon are in the turn tail category. I I don't know. I'm sure someone in the chat could tell you. Uh, let me do the chat right now. Actually, oh, yeah. let me get to the chat. I got to figure out how to do that. I you know I've had this problem lately, which I guess shows that I am an old man. I go on my phone and I'm like, let's go to Discord. And I see the T for TikTok, which looks like a D for Discord to me. And I'm like, nope, that's not it. Uh, Discord. Hello. Podcast. Autumnal Blake. I made and it. Anastasia Beaverhausen. And hello, Giant Reggie. And Shillelagh. And Nico Darunia. And Autumnal Blake. And Hilly and Tom. And Steve Weiss. And Ice Grove. And Hilly and Tom. And store by Joker and Autumnal Blake and Steve Weiss. Did I do it right? Am I still doing it? <laughs> you did it right. Store by just Quark and says, says, Joe is cool. says D for Dick Doc. Yep. You check out the latest Dick Doc, guys. <laughs> yeah, I feel like that's a whole different thing altogether. Joe. And hello, Rock. Yeah. And hello, Kirby. Kirby's in the house. We got a new bongo. <laughs> 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 Oh wow, we're uh, we're oh on, I don't I, on, I don't know where it is. They're all on that Toronto one page now. We got a new bongo. There you go. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yes, hello everybody. If Nikki Hill missed you, uh, we'll get you as you're coming in. I I there's so many. I think you did a great job. Um, all right, we have our special message from DJ Cutner once again, uh, and we'll be back. Oh, after. I wasn't supposed to interrupt you. No, no, you're fine. This is fine. <laughs> Uh, we're sponsored by DJ Cutman and, 
Game Chops for the Legend of Synthwave album. So here you go. <coughs> DJ Cutman here. I'm about to play you a clip of our brand new album, The Legend of Synthwave. It's a cyberpunk tribute to the music of The Legend of Zelda. If you like it, you can click the banner at the top of any Go Nintendo page to be taken directly to the album. Hope you enjoy. <laughs> Thank you, DJ Cutman, for putting that together and Game Chops Gang. Uh, Legend of Synthwave is a Legend of Zelda concept album reimagining classic game soundtracks into a cyberpunk soundscape. If Zelda was a feature film in the 80s, this would have been its soundtrack. Uh, yeah, just click the banner at the top of uh, Go Nintendo, and it'll take you to the page to uh, stream the album however you want. Spotify, YouTube. Uh, I don't know if Bandcamp is in there, but it's usually in there. Uh, Apple Music, uh, you know, w one way or another, you can stream that album. And uh, it's a good one, man. It might be my favorite one so far. I'm not sure, but it might be. Uh, so thanks to DJ Cutman and Game Chops for that. It's always a pleasure to work with you guys. Um, All right, goodbye, everybody. <laughs> so there was this article this past week that got uh, a lot of traction. And the article was written by Jack Crosby. And Mom Brain heard the title of the album. and Or album. Uh, she heard the title of the article. And she audibly gasped. Because she was so, uh, so shocked by the content. Uh, the article's title was... I feel like we shouldn't even give it credit. Well, there's more to share about it here that I want to get into. Um, the article article's title is it's time to admit Animal Crossing New Horizons is a dumb, boring game for children. Your words are as <laughs> empty as your soul. So, yes, this got a lot of traction and a lot of attention and riled a lot of people up. And I think rightfully so. But I also think a lot of people realized it was a clickbait feature. But anyway, I did a video on it because. If there's something out there, even if it is clickbait, I know there are people who are going to read it and be like, boy, that really makes me feel crappy for something I enjoy. And you get kind of depressed about it. Some people read that stuff and they laugh it off. Some people read that stuff and they're like, uh, this guy's a jerk. I, I don't care about his opinion. It doesn't matter to me. But there are people that read it and get depressed over that stuff. So when I do a rebuttal piece like I did with the video, um, I do it for those people. I do it to give a level-headed uh, critique of the article and offer a counterpoint and just give something for those people who feel depressed about it because you shouldn't feel depressed about it. So I did a video on it. Um, that was that. And before I did the video, I had reached out to Jack Crosby and I was like, hey, Jack, I'm not here to attack you. Uh, I saw your piece. I'm going to be doing a rebuttal piece. Um, I'll send it to you as soon as it's live. Are you up for an interview? And he said, yeah, I'm definitely up for an interview. You hit me up with the questions. So I did the video and then, uh, you know, things were catching or the article was catching a lot of attention. So people were digging deep into this guy's Twitter account to see what else he said, blah, 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 blah. And some tweets came up about the article and I'm going to read them to you. Uh, Jack says, I'm ready to say it. Animal Crossing sucks. Bad. Lifeless game, which is only fun if you put tons of time into it or you're playing with friends, which is clunky and inconvenient like most other aspects of the game. Who will pay me to write this post? I'll do it for cheap. I'm dead serious. If you have $200 to $300 left in your freelance budget and you want a post that will probably get at least 10k hate views if we put the right search engine optimization head on it. I will do it for you in less than 800 words. Bonus points if your billing department pays in less than 30 days. Ha ha ha. So that's what he said. And the gang at Business Insider was like, we will take you up on that offer. And they certainly got the return on their investment without a doubt. After paying this guy 200 or 300 bucks, this article got way more than 10K views without a doubt. But 
it shows the guy's character true intentions behind the article i guess just to, he's like hey i can pump this thing out and it's going to get uh, a lot of hate views so i had when i was originally going to reach out to jack again with the questions i emailed him and i was like hey jack um i saw some of the stuff you said on twitter uh, about this whole feature and i said i'm really disheartened to read that but i'd still like to talk to you to see if maybe you can give another point of view or uh, explain the tweets or something like that. Um, please let me know. So the first time I emailed Jack, he answered me. I want to say less than 10 minutes after I emailed him. I, I think it was less than five, but I'll be safe and say less than 10. And we had two pieces of corn correspondence within an hour. Correspondence, uh, actually. Correspondence. Correspondence. Like quarantine. <laughs> so, like street correspondence? That's right. Um, so uh, Love me some street corn. That happened, and then later in the day, after I did the video, I sent him the link to the video uh, through an email, and I said, "Get, uh, you know, check out the video and get back to me." And then I followed up with that uh, email that I just talked to you about, and I haven't heard from him since. I haven't heard from him the day since the day I put up that video, which was earlier this week. So we went from, you know, two correspondences between an hour to nothing for a week. So. I, I don't know. Maybe he's swamped. Maybe he just hasn't had a time to respond, but he seemed all about it at first. And now I haven't heard anything. So I, I don't know. I guess I'll still give him the benefit of the doubt. I'll email him one more time. But uh, if it's three emails and no response, then I think that is the response. He's just not going to talk about it anymore. He, uh, you know, I don't want to come to a conclusion yet. I want to give the guy the benefit of doubt, but it seems like he made his money uh, and he's going to run. So, uh, and I would imagine the amount of uh, hate that he got. Um, maybe Hello, Blood Ocean 07. Sorry, did I do that wrong? Maybe surprised him <laughs> with, uh, you know, how much backlash it got. But he was saying, I'll do it and it's going to get views. And he did it and it got views. So, I don't know, man. I don't I know. Drink gamer. It's just disappointing to see stuff like that. Um, it's just. I understand the internet is a machine for clicks and people are making money and I'm out there trying to make money too. It happens, but I do my absolute money. best to not make articles that have clickbait headlines. And uh, I do my best to thoroughly explain things. Hello, Drake. Uh, and it's still just, it still happens literally today to literally minutes before the podcast I'll, I'll go in without naming names i got an email from a person i'm not gonna say but they sent me an email about a cave story story that i did so the story is cave story plus on the eShop in the united states for the switch seems to have disappeared i went on the eShop myself and confirmed that it's not there is everything you okay over there bud yeah. You're like sniffing and taking pills and choking. And all right, all right. It sounds like a pill bottle, right? I don't know. What's a pill bottle? <laughs> what's a pill? <laughs> I mean, it's where you keep pills. No, what sounds like a pill bottle? Uh, it sounds like something plastic with a cap. You, what are you doing? That? Yeah, that. Sorry, I'll keep the cap off. It's a water. Oh. <laughs> Gotta hydrate. So plastic bottle. I was a uh, plastic vessel. Well, anyway, uh, this guy sends me an email. Pills. This guy mm. sends me an email. Email about Cave Story Plus uh, because it's not on the US eShop. Um, and if you search it, Nikki Hill, maybe you could. Oh, you're on your phone. Never mind. Um, no, I have a Chromebook, but can I just I, can I just say one thing real quick? Oh boy, do I need I you just, to text it to me first? <clears throat> um, Business Insider is guard. No, uh, I just went to Business Insider to see that article that you were just talking about. Yeah, and. Once it opened the page, I got a notice saying Business Insider would like to send you notifications. And I was like, no. So maybe it is just clickbait of some sort. Because, like, that automatically just tried to, like, wrangle me into something. Well, I mean, a lot of sites do that. And I have to say very clearly, uh, Business Insider is not represented by Jack Crosby or whatever his name was. Uh, he Bing. made Crosby. He made it very clear to me that his thoughts are not those of Business Insider, but Business Insider obviously gave him the cashish to write the article. Where did he come from? I don't know what that means. His mother? No. Where, where is he from that his opinion means 
something. Like, not to be rude, but, like, he's an analyst. He's a understander of things. Like, what? <laughs> What's your job? I'm an understander of things. Uh, let me go to his... Uh, let me tell you. He's a writer who covers politics, culture, and whatever else publications will pay him to cover. There, there you, you go. go. There you go. Um, he's thinking of adopting a cat, but you know what? Owning a cat is dumb and it's, a, okay, it's boring. Okay, it's okay. a children's thing. We're not getting into this. We're taking the high road. I don't want to sm- uh, like... Oh, come on. Owning a cat is terrible. You the, guys would probably... The thoughts of say? Mickey Hill are not the thoughts of going into... <laughs> no. uh, Owning a cat is the best thing a person in, in the world could ever do. All right, so let me get Unless back... Unless you're Romy Cowboy. Let me get because to this... Because he calls your legs. Let me it's get back to this cave story thing finally. What do you want me to look up? I, I was going to say... Go to Nintendo.com and type in Cave Story Plus, as in the symbol, not the word plus. Um, Nintendo.com. So I did the research. I couldn't find it on Nintendo.com. I can find it if I do a Google search, but it takes me to a page that is now blank. It has all the information removed. The game is still in other regions, like in Canada and uh, throughout Europe. You can get it, but it doesn't appear to be in the United States. So I posted up an article about that saying uh, this would be the second time Nicholas has published a game. And uh, it disappeared from the eShop. We don't know what's going on or what the explanation is right now, but the game has disappeared. So uh, we're waiting to see what's up. And Cave I got Story Plus. <laughs> yes, I got an. Do you spell out plus, or is it just the symbol? Is this a joke? No. <laughs> is it a joke, really? No, I do a search and it comes up cave story. Nikki Hill, I specifically told you you use this symbol and don't spell it out. <laughs> well, anyway, I got an email and it says, your article about Cave Story Plus is at best misleading and at worst false. The game is not only available on Nintendo's website. Nikki Hill, can you find it? I did not find it on Nintendo's I website. I did not either. Uh, like I said, I found the. I blank- just found Cave Story. Yeah. And Cave Story 3DS. That, that's what I got. Uh, I f- said if I do a Google search for the name, I can find the Nintendo.com page that is now blank. Uh, and then the guy says the actual oh, eShop shit. page is intact. Uh, I reached out to a source who worked on the game, and he confirmed that this is a Nintendo issue, not a Nicholas issue. So I'm, I'm, I don't know what to do. Like I'm not. <laughs> I'm not misinforming people. I did my research before I posted the damn story. Uh, so I, I said to the guy, I'm sorry you feel that way. I told him everything I did, and I showed him screenshots of what I did to be like, I, I don't just fart out articles. I, I do research. Sometimes I still get it wrong, and I apologize and make a retraction. Sometimes I don't, but I feel like I did my due diligence this time, but it just just wasn't enough. So, yeah, sometimes the uh, sometimes that Internet, it's, uh, it's a place, right? <coughs> Um, <laughs> it's a beautiful uh, gift, Roth. Um, so yeah, I I don't know what to say. But as far as the Cave Story Plus story goes, we will keep Cave Story Plus story. We we don't know what's going on. All right, I did that. Cave Story Plus story minus minus game game minus purchase <laughs> ability minus. I want to uh, go back to my purchase email. Purchability. To see, okay. There's one more thing I want to talk about that is not Nintendo related. Before we get into our Nintendo, what are you buying? Sorry, I, that was an accident. My knuckle hit it. Old Fat Nux over there. Yeah. <laughs> is that your new nickname? Is that a great nickname, Fat Nux? Fat anything is really not what I'm going for. How about Chubby Nux? Okay. <laughs> How about Thick Nux? Thick Nux. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you don't. Uh, you don't pay up the bill by next Tuesday. I'm gonna send over old Thick Nux to you. Whack! You whack people in the back of the head with the thick nuts. Um, I have a topic I want to talk about before we get into Nintendo news. Mom Brain saw both of these things. Nikki Hill, I don't know if you did. I think Is it that that mole that on your back. No, no, everybody's seen it. Um, have you seen the trailer for the new Save by the Bell? No. Cool. The trailer is out for whatever. Uh, NBC is doing their own streaming service called Peacock, which is coming out later. Dan, oh, mom brain, that's enough. I got so nervous that I said your real name. You know who really hates <laughs> that's Peacocks enough. here? That's enough. Rami Cowboy hates Peacocks so much. Mom brain, 
didn't think that peacocks could kill you, and I proved to her that they have <laughs> killed before. Hello, Ross. And they will kill again. Um, so yeah, they have a new streaming network called Peacock, and Saved by the Bell is going to be on it, and we watched the trailer. Mom Brain, what do you think? <laughs> I don't I don't understand what that was. <laughs> I'm going to hope it was oh, a stretch. Me? I'm sorry, I'm stretching. I, okay. I, I keep forgetting that I'm like... <laughs> right up in there. It was either a stretch or you crapped your pants, but I'll I'll take it. What if, I'll take, it's what if I told you? What if I told you it's you know I was just jumping from uh, ledge to ledge and I needed to float up like Yoshi. <laughs> I mean, any good stretch will make you crap your pants too. So I understand. <laughs> is that what that is? <laughs> Mom, brain, your thoughts. I thought it looked like fun. I thought it was um, a little. It it had like an air of of being a little more adult. Yes. Than the original Saved by the Bell. Adult, um, as in uh, not like you know sexy or graphic violence, but like you cheeky, know elevated like, humor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, like it was like, hey, let's do Saved by the Bell now, and let's like actually try to make it a really like a legitimately good show, not just like I don't want to say. Saved by the Bell was a fun show, but it's not anything you're going to watch where you're like, oh, this is legitimately funny. Like, it was just a goofy, silly kids show, but it was successful. But yes, this new take seems to be like, okay, let's really like, let's really make something of it. Like, let's honestly, it's like, let's take the prestige and the fandom of the original show and give them something worthy of that with a new installment. Um, but it yeah. takes place like like it still has AC Slater and it has uh, what's her name? Showgirls girl. Um, Turning to you, Nikki Hill. Jesse Spano. Yeah, whatever her real name is. Wait, she's in it. Yeah, she's she's in the trailer. Yeah. So is it all of like the old cast going back to high school? It is not all of the old cast, but some <laughs> of them come back. No, like AC Slater, I want to say is like teacher? the gym teacher at the school, and uh, uh, Zach and Kelly's kid is a student at the school, and so is AC uh, Slater and whoever he's with. Was who was he with? Was he with Jesse Spano? I think so. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, and I think I might be wrong, but I think some of the 30 rock crew is involved with writing it. Some of their writing staff is writing this. It's um, Lisa turtle and screech, uh, screech power. We didn't see saying? screech and Lisa turtle. As far as I know, fell didn't off the Dustin deep end. Diamond kind of go a little bit nutty. He, he uh, went adult. If you're looking for that. Oh, Lisa, Lisa turtle did as well. Lisa turtle went a little, he went nutty, nutty, uh, but On screech. On screen, Screech did pornography. Like I don't know if he's losing his yeah, marbles went, or anything, he, but he did porn. I think that's what Mom Brain is saying. He went nutty in front I, of cameras. Yes, but so, uh, but I mean, like you know, so did uh, what's her face in Showgirls. So I mean, that's not porn, though. You see vagina and you see the boobs, and as far as I'm concerned, so that's you would porn. say that like art. There's there's like pieces of old like Renaissance well, art. No, that are porn. the topic of Showgirls is about a stripper, so I would it, say. It, I, for me, there has to be some kind of penetration in some way for there to be, for it to be porn. I really think you need to see this movie before you comment on it because it's, as far as movies go, it's pretty graphic. Would you be uncomfortable watching it with your parents? With my parents? No, it would be funny. Would you be, be uncomfortable watching actual porn with your parents? Not at all. I Okay. Are you kidding me? Wait, you My mean parents, it would be hysterical. That should be the next parents play. <laughs> what, what you really think I would ever be un offended or uncomfortable watching something with my parents? Yeah, like something really hardcore. I feel like I think cake you're. Farts. I think you're projecting. I mean, cake farts is about as hardcore as it gets. <laughs> what interaction I, have I ever had I with my parents to give you that? I just feel like it would be weird. I feel like your dad would probably make it weird. <laughs> I don't know. My dad would make it great. Uh. But <laughs> Oh, my dad makes everything weird. Well, anyway, Nikki Hill, you should check out that trailer. But it's not the only revival from our childhood coming, which I didn't know. Um, wait, Hylian and Tom says I went to see Showgirls in eleventh grade and saw several of my Catholic high school teachers in the movie theater. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. Um, there's a bunch of revivals. Perry Mason's coming back. Uh, um, well, the one I was going to say is Punky Brewster. Yeah. Oh really? Is is uh Small Wonder coming back? Don't even 
say that you're maybe, gonna maybe maybe it said i saw punky brewster and i was thinking small one. i will i would want that more than anything else yeah uh punky brewster is coming back and it stars soleil moon fry as punky but she's grown up with her own kids so it's about like uh -huh. you know it's like fuller house basically except again it looks like they're trying to take a more legitimate like uh um more modern approach to a sitcom than you know going back like fuller house did fuller house was more close to what full house was even though i think most would agree it was not as good i heard it got better in later seasons but i mean yeah it's hard to 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 kind of judge any of those revivals oh, punky with a with a with like a clear view because i can't separate like the nostalgia i mean full house was like really important to me when i was a kid so like you know, Steel Diver says, what about Lizzie McGuire? Yeah, that ran into all kinds of trouble. And as far as I know, it's dead in the water right now because uh, Disney did not want to have the more adult approach of Lizzie McGuire on Disney Plus. But like now they're saying, you know, uh, fans are saying put it on Hulu because Disney owns Hulu. So why the hell not? Yeah, that makes perfect sense to me. Plop it over on Hulu. People will watch it there. You kidding me? Uh, so yeah, there's all kinds of revivals. I just want to talk about that. So Nikki Hill, you have to watch those trailers and see. Uh, oh, I have to, right? I have to. You do, yeah. Thanks for the thanks for the homework assignment. You know I'm on quarantine, all right? I don't have to do anything. Who hasn't come back? You know, they did they revive? They revive My Little Ponies. Did they do a Care Bears? Did you say My Little Ponies? Is that the name of it? Uh, no. My Little Ponies. Uh, but Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright I mean, came back. In a new cartoon. Yep. I was her for Halloween Done. one year. Apparently, you're not a real fan. It was the coolest costume of all time. Let us get into the news. You didn't even say hello to all of us. Hi, Mom Brain. How are you? Hi. Uh, I'm doing well. I went for a nice run this morning. Well, actually, this afternoon because I slept until like 11. Hi, Mickey Hill. How are you? I'm I'm okay. I just feel really bad about things that I've said. <laughs> Hi, Josh Grobot. How are you? I'm feeling so great. Thanks oh, that's asking. great, Josh. Thank you. All right. Josh, can you take us to the... Or no, you don't do that. Let's do news. <laughs> Thank you. That was beautiful, Nikki. Yeah. All right. We're skipping that first one because we're talking about it later. Thanks. Very cool. Uh, Nintendo says they're hoping to produce 10% more Switch stock in 2020 to keep up with the demand of the system because it is still very hard to find. The uh, the regular Switch, whatever your color preference, uh, is extremely hard to find. And the Switch Lite goes in and out of stock all the time. I believe Best Buy, as of right now, has the yellow in stock, but the other colors are gone. So it just keeps happening over and over again. Nintendo knows, that's, <laughs> Nintendo knows that stock is tight but they are working to fix it. Uh, so Nintendo says, we hope suppliers will be responsive to the production increase, but for our procurement of certain parts, the outlook remains uncertain, and we can't forecast exactly how many switches can be supplied. So their goal is 10% more, but they're saying, we don't know if we're going to hit that because you know some companies uh, that will require a 5% increase in what they do, and some companies it'll require a 50% increase. So it's going to be touch and go. In other words, Switch is probably still going to be hard to find. You're going to have to hang in there. If you can manage, I, I don't know what would be a life or death situation with the Switch where you need to buy one, but if you can manage to hold out and you're still trying to find one, uh, don't go the reseller route because it's just so... <sighs> People are spending three times the value of the Switch to get one. You've much yet to learn. Um, you know, it's a, it's hard. It's hard. If people have the money and they're okay with spending the money, then I guess it's okay. Like the whole situation is okay, but it makes me feel uncomfortable personally. How about that? Like resellers doing their thing. I get it. People buying it for that much. I get it. Uh, it making it harder to find stock legitimately. I get it. Nobody's doing anything illegal. Uh, but just personally, it makes me feel gross. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sally, do you have something to say? She's furious. She hates that. <laughs> but it's a business for people, yeah. <laughs> uh, here you go, Mom Brain. This is very interesting. I'm listening. Um, Animal Crossing New Horizons is very big right now. It's a game for it's children. The biggest. 
but it's boring and dumb. But can I just for a oh, hot minute? God. Well, I mean, yeah. Look, under all circumstances, I am a big Animal Crossing fan. It scratches a lot of itches I have. But right now, under these circumstances, I would like to just touch on the fact that it is not only fun for me, but also a part of like keeping me mentally and emotionally well for a couple of reasons. One, it it tricks me into feeling like I've accomplished a lot in a day, which I'm working on in therapy uh, you know, uh, with on my need to like accomplish things to feel worthy. But this is like perfect for scratching that itch because, you know, you accomplish a ton in Animal Crossing. So your brain's like, we did a lot. We are worthy. So that's one. Two, it's allowed me to interact with people in ways that feel a little bit more like, like actually being together. Um, and it's made people more available to do that, which has been great and phenomenal. And, um, it, it like gives me like structure to my day. Like, oh, I gotta gotta go on Animal Crossing before nine because I want to go buy some clothes and the Able Sisters close at nine. Like, it's just been when I look back at this time in my life, I will certainly remember a great deal of f- fun and nice things. But Animal Crossing is gonna be like way up there. So like, I just want to put that out there, and I know I'm not alone in feeling like that. So you are not alone. Yeah, yeah. Uh, just, Felt like that really needed to be said. Highly and Tom says, I have co-workers who feel similarly, Lombrain himself as well. And then uh, I'm wallowing in the wholesomeness of the game. Yeah. Hi, Char. Char says it helps with cabin fever. Fever. Uh, hello, Koboon. I want to say hello to you. And Owlwolf, do we say hello to you? Uh, so, yes, anyway, Animal Crossing New Horizons is a big hit, uh, but the Switch is hard to find everywhere, especially in Japan. And those in Japan have decided... They can't take it. So you know what they're doing? We're not going to take it. They have Are they starting their own island like in real life? <laughs> they are not starting their own island. They have started purchasing Animal Crossing New Leaf to play on their 3DS because they're like, you know, I need my Animal Crossing fix. It's a perfect time for Animal Crossing. I can't get a Switch right now, so I got a 3DS. Let's play some New Leaf. Uh, New Leaf um, is selling for... Oh, I'll wait. I'll wait. How's that water, Nikki Hill? <laughs> uh, that's actually the wrapper of a Ghirardelli chocolate square. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, it's Excellent. 72% cacao. You have a mute on your earbuds, don't you? Uh, 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 <laughs> I guess that's... Man, every question I ask is answered with something worse. Um, so yeah, the prices of Animal Crossing New Amazing. Leaf and Animal, <laughs> Animal Crossing New Leaf Welcome Amiibo are climbing in Japan because more and more people are buying them. So guess what? The game's going to be harder to find now. So even that game's going to be tough to come by. Uh, so either you have a hard time finding the Switch or you have a hard time finding Animal Crossing New Leaf. Uh, Vinloria says, I wonder why the original is more expensive considering it's a free update to Welcome Amiibo anyway. And last I heard, it's not like anything was taken away in that version. Yes. Um, New Leaf is selling for more than New Leaf Welcome Amiibo. And I think that might be because some people just don't understand that New Leaf and New Leaf Welcome Amiibo are pretty much the same thing. I think some people are like, oh, I need Amiibo to play this game. So I'm not getting that one. I'm getting just regular New Leaf. That's my guess. We honestly have no answer for it. Uh, <clears throat> uh, Hal, which is celebrating its, I don't know, anniversary. 40th sounds right. 40th sounds right. Um, has been doing a lot of interviews recently, and they, they've done an interview in Famitsu, and uh, a number of people at HAL were talking about uh, projects that HAL, including Kirby games that never saw release. And we've heard a little bit about this in the past, but now we get more insight than we have ever gotten. Um, HAL says they had three different Kirby games in development that all ended up being shelved. And they decided to shelve these projects because the quality couldn't be hit that they wanted or they didn't think the game was going to hit the sales target because it just wasn't turning out right. So they shelved these projects and they started their fourth and they were like, man, I hope this doesn't turn into another failed Kirby project. But the, uh, the team slowly started to gain confidence and they were like, you know, 
this game is turning out all right. This is going to be the one to break our Kirby curse. And that game ended up being Kirby's Return to Dreamland, the Wii Kirby game, which is, I believe, my favorite Kirby game. As far as Wait, the as, Wii? Yeah, the Wii was a system Nintendo launched uh, like years ago and had a. Was that the multiplayer version? The multiplayer one? It had. Uh, like mo- four people could play. No, like that's... how. Uh, uh, what did that have? Wii. Four player? I think that had. I don't remember. I don't remember returning to Dreamland. That's so weird. Uh, I'm looking on my shelf to quickly find it. I see the Kirby collection. I don't know. My brain, you find it. <laughs> that is not correct. Um. But the yeah, the Wii one was my favorite as far as traditional Kirby games go. I just really enjoyed that one. Something about the whole like way that uh, just something that the level progression really tickled my fancy. Uh, Drew says Kirby's Return to Dreamland is pretty awesome. Well, I agree. Uh, I always love a good uh, Kirby game because there's a platform. There are platformers that don't really require all that much from you. You just go around and explore. I like gaining the new abilities. It's fun. And then if you're looking for the extra stuff, you can get a little bit, uh, it can be a little bit challenging, not uh, by a lot, but it dirt, certainly, it certainly adds more uh, <laughs> uh, challenge to it. Go on, continue. That's the Kirby scream, Mom Brain. Now, Mom Brain, you sing us your favorite Kirby song. (laughs) (laughs) Mom Brain, look at me. Have you ever played a Kirby game? Kirby's Epic Yarn, I played a little bit of. Okay, you're off the hook. uh, Second question, why do you hate Kirby so much? I don't hate Kirby (laughs) at all. All right, moving on. Um, there have been rumors of Super Mario 3D World coming to the Switch, and now Best Buy or Best Buy is coming to uh, throw in their two cents. Their website added a listing for Super Mario 3D World on the Switch. It didn't have a picture and didn't have specific information, but they did add the page to their website. So here's the age old question. Does Best Buy have inside information and they put up this listing accidentally or is someone at Best Buy like, I read about that rumor. I better add this to the site now and get people's money. We don't know. I honestly don't know because sometimes uh, retailer listings like this are spot on and sometimes they are not. Uh, King Broly with the top rated comment, which has the perfect... uh, response says hey remember that time best buy put up a listing for metroid prime trilogy and persona 5 for switch two years ago good times uh yes obviously persona 5 never came to the switch but persona 5 scramble came to the switch do you see the distinction and metroid prime trilogy just has not surfaced yet although the rumors persist and i believe them to be true because i would imagine nintendo pushed back the trilogy planned release or re-release because of Metroid Prime 4's big delay and restart. So I'm sure they shuffled those things around on the release schedule. I do believe Metroid Prime Trilogy is the real deal. Um, We'll find out together, obviously, when the Switch uh, reaches the end of its lifespan, which should be about four years from now, something like that. Or maybe more. Who knows? Who knows in this crazy workaday world? Um, Doesn't anyone care what I think? I always do, Josh. I am the world's world's best best singer. singer. Well, how did I know, Josh? Why would you say that? (laughs) Wait, Josh, I'm the world's best singer. You know why? (laughs) He's right. He's better. <laughs> oh man. Is that what I sound like? Is that what I sound like? Is that what I sound like? <laughs> this is so dumb, my For a dollar. <laughs> Wait. Is that what I sound like? Is that what I sound like? <laughs> Why does this stupid stuff make me laugh? For a dollar. <laughs> Is that what I sound like? Is that what I sound like? Why are you throwing it, Billy? 
because I love it. Okay. Oh, man. All right. Let's have a singing competition. We did already. No, stop playing that. Stop it. Stop it. Uh, well, there goes the claim. <laughs> I was letting that one go through. Okay, that one episode. Like that. Hello, Josh. That one episode. I don't want to. I think I'm going to have to delete it now. All right. Moving on. We got a new bongo. <laughs> what was on the Obongo uh, board? Oh, did we talk about this on the podcast? No. Uh, Paper plate thumbnail. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We got to explain the thing first. RMC looks at camera and is that what I sound like? Autumnal Blake made an uh, Go Nintendo podcast Ubongo board. So if you want to play Ubongo <laughs> with us. The board is great. It says Ubongo. Bingo? No, no. This game's completely different. <laughs> If you want to play Ubongo, you can go to the Discord. Autumnal Blake got an Ubongo. We got an Ubongo. <laughs> this is so great. We got a... I have to look more into this because I want to do more with that. All right. Now, really moving on. I can't see the board because I'm worried that like I'm going to be influenced. <laughs> to perform an Ubongo? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I'm about to perform an Ubongo miracle. Now, Mom Brain with Children, the famous I will touch your head Ubongo. and perform an Ubongo miracle. <laughs> Bongo. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh oh. <laughs> Super Mario Maker 2 got its final free update. Can I get a drum roll, please? Recovering. The update, among other things, includes Super Mario Brothers 2 mechanics. It also includes a World Maker. This content is free. So if you'd like to make an official, well, not an official, official for you, Super Mario uh, World, as in, you know, you do a whole bunch of levels and string them together Thank with a world map, to playing in my game. you can do that now. Um, and also, as I said, uh, there's Super Mario Brothers 2 mechanics in there. You get a special Mario, or you get a special mushroom that turns you into Super Mario Brothers 2 Mario, which means he rides on top of enemies, or uh, you can pick up enemies. Uh, I haven't tried it myself yet. I wonder if that big jump is in there. I wonder. I haven't seen footage of the big jump. Uh, also, they added in Fanto from Super Mario Brothers 2 and the Cursed Key. So if you go pick up the Cursed Key, Fanto awakens and tries to get you. Uh, there's other stuff in there too. The frog suit from Super Mario Brothers hey, 3 Joey's is in there. Cool. I'm going to do a little something for you. Uh, the power balloon from Super Mario World is in there. The super acorn from Super Mario Brothers U and the boomerang flower from Super Mario 3D World are all in there. Uh, there are also five variations for wearables like the cannon box and propeller box. Uh, so, yeah, a whole bunch of awesome free content. Really cool to see that added to the game. Uh, go play it right now. Power up. Snail person has a top rated comment, and they say, the amount of doom and gloom here is surprising for such awesome update, and it's free. So how could you complain? Uh, well, I, you know, it's the Internet. You know, that's a good, good that's a good question. That's a good example of, like, the people who are vocal are sometimes the the people who are vocal on the internet and complain are sometimes the minority because in that example, the the comment that got upvoted the most was the one about how people are doomy and gloomy, but there's more. Right over there. There's more uh, comments. Uh, there's more comments that are negative, but the overall sentiment is positive about the update. All right. Uh, well, yeah, we can do it. <laughs> um, a uh, My Nintendo app is available in Japan on mobile devices. It allows users to purchase certain products and check in on events via QR codes. It also has information on all your play records. So you can see your most played Switch game <clears throat> and the time played for all your games, really, as long as they're connected to your My Nintendo account. As of right now, this is only, whoops, this is only available in Japan. But hopefully we get it uh, in Europe and North America. Is there something like that for us in America? Gotcha. 
Oh, 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 oh. Uh, Yaku or no, Yazuka says, I really hope we get this app in the West too. I want it for the improved <coughs> activity log. Yeah, I like the activity log that the parental app has right now, but I do want it expanded. I want like the nitty gritty details. I want to see like all the specifics. Um, so yeah, I'm sure we'll get it here at some point. I don't know. I don't have any clue when, but I'm sure we'll get it. Uh, That's all right. Great story. Thanks, Josh. Uh, on that note, let us move on to our plugs. And then uh, we'll be back in less than a minute. Sorry. Hello, my name is Jonathan Dunn, and I'm inviting you to listen to Our Three Cents, a weekly podcast where myself and two of my very best gaming chums are counting down our top 100 favorite video games of all time. For all the episodes and information, check out our website, www.our3cents.co.uk. They say with age comes wisdom. Well, over here at the Cartridge family, we only have one question. Who are they? <laughs> Join three imperfect dads as they juggle kids, wives, and jobs while indulging in their favorite hobby, playing video games. The Cartridge family, a Greenlit Network podcast. Hi, Jet Jaguar. Focus all attacks. Hi, Jet Jaguar. Did we say hi to Solid Master Link? I believe uh, that Jet Jaguar... Focus uh, all attacks. Focus all attacks. I, I believe Jet Jaguar just had a baby. Him personally? Well, I don't know. Congratulations on I that. I think. I don't know. Would you confirm that, Jet Jaguar? Maybe he didn't want that information out there. Now you've done it. Well, then he could say Is no. Jet Jaguar a robot or a person in a suit? Uh, both, I believe. We're skipping that one. Uh, and... Yes, Jet Jaguar <coughs> says yes. So congratulations. Congratulations. Um, I hope that everyone is healthy and safe and doing well. And that you get to be home with that baby sooner than later. Uh, there's been an update for Animal Crossing New Horizons, and it's a free update. Mom Brain, why don't you tell us about it? Oh, well. There's some debate uh, in the world about uh, people's excitement, whether they should be happy or upset about the character that came to the island. Uh, Red is uh, is back. And selling art. Uh, Jet Jaguar says, home with the baby, and she's doing great. That's wonderful news. Um, <clears throat> so, so Red's at the island selling perhaps fake art. Nobody knows for sure. Uh, so, so there's Red. Also, um, Leaf is on the island selling you plants like shrubs and different, different plants. I myself bought a bunch of shrubs, some roses, and some cosmos. Cosmos happen to be some of my favorite flowers, so I was really pleased to be able to buy some. Uh, so I bought some art from Red, and I donated it to the museum, so now the museum's going to open a new section. So that's been really nice. Um, and there's some Nature Day activities that you can participate in for extra Nook Miles. Nature Day activities last until May 4th. Star Wars Day. Star Wars Day. Star Wars Day? Is that what you said? I said Star Wars. Okay, just checking. You're the non uh, fan. I, I have a question. Yes? Is Red like a con artist or something? Because you, you said he might be potentially selling fake art. He's just a little sketchy. Yeah, I'd say he's a con artist. Yeah. He sells you crap for an exorbitant amount of bells and sometimes it's fakes. Yeah. I mean, Why does Nintendo expose us to this sort of thing? Because that's the world. They're they want teaching to... you about the real world. Yeah. 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 So. Uh, there's also. So like, a... Because of a purchase of Red's art though. Like because of art's involvement with you or something. Is there a chance you could lose your whole house? No. You're well, never. It's not realistic. You're never forced to pay back your mortgage. It's just if you want to expand your home. Yes. So if they want to really like. <clears throat> like help us feel what the real world is like. Then they need to make a couple changes. Well, you know, they could teach you about some aspects of the real world. It doesn't have to be 100% real or 100% fake. It could teach some lessons, but not all. Like uh, turnips or whatever they are going to be <laughs> sold for right. negative bells. Um, there's a new art gallery at Blathers Museum. And there's also the ability to arrange weddings on Harv's Island, if you would like to do that. So, yes, a new wave of free content for Animal Crossing. Harv's players. Island freaks me out. First comment comes from Guy Bones, and he says, so much stuff with this and the Mar Mario Maker stuff could have basically had a Nintendo Direct Mini. It all looks so good. I, again, imagine that this content was going to be in the last Direct, but they shifted things around. 
Uh, we all need to do that. You, do you hear that? NPD. NPD. What is that a leak? NPD. Is it your refrigerator NPD. running? NPD. 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 Do you hear that? <laughs> Thanks, Mom. Right. You're welcome. Uh, we have March 2020. Shut up. I NPD. Gosh, you are trying to turn over a new leaf today and be pleasant. NPD data. And I am ready for you guys to guess. Uh, Nikki Hill, do not look. Mom brain, you looking. never look. Let us, somebody's opening a Pringles can over there. Drum roll, please. Go ahead. You're guessing. Go ahead. Oh, can we start? <laughs> yeah. Have we opened? Uh, yes, animal, guessing is officially kingdom. open. No, Animal Crossing Kingdom. Animal Crossing New Islands. What is it called? Please? Don't tell him. Don't tell him. No, we're going to go through this. We're going to suffer through it together. Go on. I need to tell you the exact name. Yes. Animal Crossing New Horizons. That is correct. It is at, num <laughs> it is at number one. For like the world. The whole, not the world. The uh Well, again, this is NPD data, so this is United States specifically. Yeah, but come on. How about, specifically? How about Call of Duty? Call of Duty, bro, is number two. Okay. Is that all Call of Duty or what? Is that Call of Duty? Well, I guess not Warzone because that's free, right? Call of Duty Modern <coughs> War. Oh my God, Call of Duty. I can't. <clears throat> Call of Duty Modern Warfare is number two, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare Two Remastered is number 20. Ooh, dear. You notice that they don't say like, oh, there, it's, there's new Call of Duty, new Call of Duty 1, new Call of Duty 2. I do new understand Call of Duty, that, yes. Yeah. Um, how about Minecraft? Minecraft is not on the list. People just download <laughs> Minecraft. They don't go buy it. How about a Madden? Uh, Madden what? Is Max. 16. No, 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 no. We're looking for top 10 here. <laughs> okay, fair enough. <laughs> I have spoken. Yeah. Okay. Um, NBA. Yes, that is number five. Ooh, nice. Uh, Overwatch. MLB The Show. MLB The Show is number three. Overwatch, the one Mom Brain always guesses and is never on there, is still not on there. <laughs> someday. Someday. <laughs> Yeah, when Overwatch Two comes out, yeah. Um, Is Mario Kart on there? Eight Deluxe? No. Water. Yes, I lied. Mario Kart Eight Deluxe is number ten. Congratulations! Ooh, Give them the nice. boo. Links, Links crossbow training. No. All right, this has gone on long enough. Uh, one, two, three, four. Number four. What's with your attitude? You're such a grump. <laughs> I can't let you guess forever. Uh, number four. It's about. A virus and Resident Evil 2 remastered. Res oh, I'm Squidward. <laughs> Why'd you hit that? Just I wanted to hear it. Resident Evil 3 is number oh, four. So okay, Resident num Evil 3 is number four. Number six. Doom. Very good. Wow. Doom Eternal. Uh, number seven. You'll never guess. I don't even know what to say. It's from Atlas, it's an RPG popular franchise. Uh, a lot of jazz music in it. You like jazz? Okay. It's Persona 5 Royal. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't have gotten yeah, that. Yeah, I know. Uh, number eight. I'm surprised you haven't guessed because it's one you always guess. FIFA. Nope. But FIFA is number 13. Um, Tiger Woods. What if I said this? Hot coffee. Grand Theft Auto 5. Grand Theft Auto 5, yes. Number 9. Also known as GTA V. It, number 9 is uh, first person, and it's cell shaded but it's uh, gruesome and gritty. has a lot of adult humor in it. Borderlands. Yes, Borderlands 3. There's your top 10. Animal Crossing, Call of Duty, MLB, Resident Evil 3, NBA 2K20, Doom Eternal, Persona 5, Royale, or Royal. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 5, Borderlands 3, and Mario Kart 8 Deluxe here. 11 through 20 are Neo 2, Red Dead Redemption 2, FIFA, Smash Brothers, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, Madden, Just Dance, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, 
Mortal Kombat 11 and Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 Remastered. We did it. Now, the real interesting stuff. We have uh, news on just how big things were for Nintendo. Uh, Uh, Switch set an all-time record for unit sales for any March month since NPD began tracking data. Uh, Switch hardware sales more than doubled what they were compared to a year ago. Switch generated the highest first quarter unit sales for any hardware since the DS in the first quarter of 2010. Um, March 2020 was also the best month for accessory spending in history of the NPD. Um, How long has the NPD been around, did you say? uh, Since the late 64 days. Since the dawn of time, since 1964. Yep, that's what I said. Animal Crossing. That's a weird way to say a year. <laughs> <laughs> Animal Crossing New Horizons. Since the 64 days. Was the best selling game of March 2020 and the second best selling game of 2020 overall so far. And it did that in 11 days. Wow. Animal Crossing New Horizons achieved the third highest launch month physical dollars and unit sales of any Nintendo published game in tracked history now remember this is just physical that it did that and we know that it did five million digital worldwide so no doubt it's number one um launch month dollar sales of animal crossing new horizons have exceeded the lifetime sales of all other animal crossing franchise games making new horizons the best-selling game in franchise history again that's just based on physical sales can uh, i say something real quick sure hi brian rowans how the video game guru 64 hi doom eternal if we haven't said hello to you already uh and wolf did we say hello to the Owl Wolf? i did yes uh controller okay. spending reached an all-time high for march And the Switch Pro controller was the best-selling individual controller. So an unbelievably stellar month for Nintendo in terms of Switch sales and Animal Crossing. Guy Bone says Animal Crossing New Horizons is one beefy boy. That's very true. Um, And this segues right into the next story. Animal Crossing New Horizons, as I said, sold 5 million units digitally worldwide for March 2020. So 11 days. There's 31 days in March, right? 30 days have September, September, April, June, and November. All the rest have 31. Except for February. Now kiss my junk and let's have fun. What? (laughs) That's what I've been told. That's what I heard. Really? No. Uh, Animal Crossing New Horizon uh, sold more (laughs) (laughs) more digital units in a single month than any console game in history. In history! You name any other game and Animal Crossing New Horizons has sold more than it digitally. Go ahead, name a game. Odama. Nope. (laughs) Wii Sports. Nope, nope. Turok. Nope. So yeah, five million units in eleven days, more than any oh, game about- did in a single month in all of video game history. The new record California holder. Games. Now here's the <laughs> here's the really important thing to point out. Wow, I am impressed. Call of Duty, which is cross-platform, sold four point two million in March. I don't know when it came out in March, but a cross-platform game was trumped by just Animal Crossing. That's nuts to me. So a major, major, major milestone. What is going to be the next game to beat that 5 million mark? I honestly don't know. I don't so know what we're to just do. saying it's 5 million in one month. That is correct. Uh, and as I said, it was really 11 days, but it set a record for a month for the entire industry. No game has ever sold more units digitally in a month. In a month. <clears throat> Club Cool John says... It's also the perfect game to have digitally. For other games, most finish once the credits roll and move on to the next one, but not the case for this. I always plan to get Animal Crossing digitally because I knew I'd be playing it every day for a long time to come. 
it'll be nice to not have to swap out the cart just to play for 15 minutes or so before starting up whatever game has my main attention later this year. Yeah, everybody has to transition with Animal Crossing. You move into the spot where you're uh, popping in to take care of, <coughs> take care of stuff. Are you okay? <laughs> and, uh, you know, do yeah, your hellos you're, you're and everything. And then, your and, choking on something. and then you move on and you're playing other Let games. Let me tell you, because it's allergy season, this man right here, my office is literally right on top of his office. And since we're both working from home together, we're spending a lot of time in our offices. This man spends no less than 30 minutes <laughs> at the start of every day clearing his throat. Like, not just like, <clears throat> it's like huge. It's like, <laughs> <laughs> and I worry that the neighbors are going to hear it and think that like we have some kind of weird like tribal grunting. This all, I mean, this isn't anything new for me. This happens every allergy season. Like, I wake I'm just up not and home I'm like to experience it. I wake up and I'm like, you know, and it's it's like right below your throat in your chest. I can feel it. And I yeah, it takes a good 30 minutes after I wake up to like, you know, get everything moving and then I'm, then I'm good. But it doesn't like hurt or anything. It's just annoying. Uh, North America this week's digital releases we got trials of mana we also got moving out pcross s4 uh active neurons animal fun for toddlers and kids uh hmm. archaica the path of light uh broken lines Cold, uh, look, code realize future blessings peace and blessings um Damaged in transit, debtor, uh, dread nautica, nope, dread nautical, uh, esports legend, guard duty, hang the kings, little busters converted edition, moto gp20, naruto shippuden, uh, ultimate ninja storm four, road to boruto, mm -hmm. just rolls off the tongue, off road racing, buggy x atv x moto, or cross if you prefer, uh. Smile Basic 4, Sunless Sea, Zub Mariner Edition. That is Zub Mariner, not Sub Mariner. Telling Lies, uh, which I showed to Nikki Hill and Do Michaels, and they both gave me crap for it. I just want to point that out. Uh, Wait, which one? Yep. The Copper Canyon Dixie Dash, Where Angels Cry, uh, Yumetsu, nope, Yumetsutsu After, and Yumetsutsu <coughs> Master. There you go. I, I don't know if I really gave you shovel for it i think it would definitely be more fun to play that together like a movie night you know like how long is the game actually going to be to play steve nintendo says no top story tag for you north america downloadable uploads ha 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 well i'm sorry am i still on mute hello i, I went in and fixed that you are not on mute i yeah. of course don't have the text thread uh but i i stand by what i say or yeah i stand by what i said it was uh I was brown. What did I say? I was brown I before. Do you still have it? I'm going to find it now. Okay. Uh, do you promise to read what you actually said? We'll see <laughs> when I get to. <laughs> May yeah. the rats eat your eyes! <laughs> well, I mean, it, some of what I said is not appropriate. I, I know. You can send. So you sent that. And uh, do Michaels, are, are we calling him out on this? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's a given, but yeah. He said, I liked it better when it was called Night Trap. Yeah. And he said, the girl from Westworld is going to take me out of the experience. Yes. That's not really giving it crap or shutting you down or anything. I mean, the first one is a snarky response. And then I said, <clears throat> this seems a bit overwhelming for me, but I'll be fine masturbating to the girl from Westworld. <laughs> I think that's acceptable. <laughs> Oh man! And then I said, "Can I say the next part?" I don't know. I don't want to go into another trap again. If it's you bad mouthing the game, sure. No, I said because he said it'll take him out of the experience, and I said <laughs> no, exactly. No, I true. remember. I remember. Don't say. <laughs> no, don't say. It. And uh, and then I <laughs> and then I sent you the gift with the kid with his hands up, going whoa. <laughs> And then I just, I think I just moved away from the conversation. Yeah. And then the next thing is about playing uh, Call of Duty, but we'll talk about that later. I, uh, I mean, I specifically singled out you two as in people who would be possibly interested in that game. Yeah. Right? And I would play it. 
I got nothing. I got nothing. I would play it. <laughs> All right, uh, Nikki Hill. Together. Uh, uh, Josh, do you have something to say here, my friend? D D Mega Doo Doo. Uh, yes. What are the next European masterpieces? Let's find out with Nikki's sweet, sweet, sweet releases. Thanks, Josh. Sorry, give me one sec. Oh, sure, sure. <laughs> okay, so uh, Nick, yeah, Nick, Nikki Hill's sweet releases. Let's. Uh, we were just kind of talking about that, right? With uh, telling Mom, oh, so let's get boy. into it. <laughs> Listen, you wanted me to read it. Breakfast like bar tycoon. Plus expansion pack. Shovel Knight, Shovel of Hope. Legends of Amberland, The Forgotten Crown. Help will come tomorrow, but we need it today. <laughs> but it's coming tomorrow. Uh, I, I don't know about this one. Maybe you know about this. Tanny Nanny? Tanny Nanny. Tanny Nanny. Is that, nice. It's a game about Tan Mom? Oh, man. I don't think she's oh, even wow. a thing anymore. I mean, she's probably a thing. Right? She's around. Uh, is ITTA or ITA? Yeah, Ita? I, don't, Ita? I, I don't know. ITA? Ita? OTA? I like ITA. OTA? Smile Basic 4. No, nope, you missed one. Yeah, you missed one. Meta <laughs> Champions. There, there you, you go. go. <laughs> Animal Fun for Toddlers and Kids. Arcade Archives, Tube Panic. And I like that it's, it's is that published by Hamster? Yeah, <laughs> it is published like, by Hamster. I just like, I, I automatically assume like <laughs> hamsters are part of it because is, it's Tube Panic. <laughs> yeah, right. Hamsters do crawl around in tubes. It's true. Uh, Valfaris and Slain Double Pack. Okay. Uh, oh, man. Yeah. Yeah. You I, made Tutsu. That sounds good to me. Regarding Master. No, <laughs> remaster. Maybe. I think that could be it. Uh, Ume Tutsu, re after, or regarding after. Where Angels Cry. Uh, the Copper Canyon Dixie Dash. I'm going to have to go through this earlier and make a list that I can read. Broken Lines. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> uh, code realized future blessings damaged in transit sunless sea submariner edition submariner, submariner. Mm -hmm. uh, hang the kings moto gp 20 e sports legend <laughs> little busters converted edition P cross S4. Deptor. Deptor! Give me all your money. I'm Deptor. It is D E B T O R, yes. Yeah. Isn't that what it is? It's yeah, all about yeah, no, I'm I'm agreeing. Paying your debts. Guard duty. What are you what are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm guard duty. Archaic archaic archaica? <laughs> no. Archaica? The path of light. Ooh. Naruto ship it dead. Ultimate Ninja Storm 4, Road to Burrito. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trials of Mana. Mana. And that's the end of the list. Naruto has really run out of missions if that's like his next big thing. <laughs> you vanquished all your enemies, now it's just go get a burrito. Well, he's got to go out into this COVID-19 world. Uh, well, he's a ninja. He's got access to masks and everything. Uh, Guy Bowen says, Trials of Mana getting bottom billing? Odd. I agree with that. I don't know why they put that all the way at the bottom. Nintendo of America put it at the top. Weird. Um, isn't that weird? Uh, Nintendo had... Well, I'm not going to read that because I want to read this, the official statement from Nintendo rather than the fan translated statement. So, um, there was a Nintendo Network ID breach of some kind. Um, if you have uh, gotten an email from Nintendo saying that your net Nintendo Network ID may have been accessed uh, uh, by an unauthorized personnel, then you should change your password and implicate uh, two-step verification to protect your account. Um, we heard a number floated of 160,000 accounts uh, that were uh, that were accessed in an unauthorized manner. 
Um, but that was part of a fan translated press release from Nintendo in Japan. The European and North American statements don't include that. I just, I, you know, I, I'm not saying it's not true. I just, I don't know. I have the official English translation on what happened, which I will read you in full. We would like to provide an update on the recent incidents of unauthorized access to some Nintendo accounts. While we continue to investigate, we would like to reassure users that there is currently no evidence pointing towards a breach of Nintendo's databases, servers, or services. As one action in our ongoing investigation, we are discontinuing the ability to use a Nintendo Network ID to sign into a Nintendo account. All other options to sign into a Nintendo account remain available. As further precaution, we will soon contact users about resetting passwords for Nintendo Network IDs and Nintendo accounts that we have reason to believe were accessed without authorization. In addition, we also continue to strongly encourage users to enable two-step verification for Nintendo net, for Nintendo accounts as, as instructed. If any users become aware of unauthorized activity, we encourage them to take the steps outlined in the article about the Nintendo account recovery process during the investigation. In order to deter further attempts of unauthorized sign-ins, we will not reveal more information about the methods employed to gain unauthorized access. We apologize for the inconvenience and concerns caused to our customers, and we will continue working hard to safeguard the security of our users data. So long story short, if you are nervous about this at all, uh, go in and change your password and put on two step verification. If you did not go from Nintendo network ID to Nintendo account, then you don't have anything to worry about, but you can still change your password if you're worried. Uh, but really the main factor is use two step verification. I try and use two step verification whenever possible. You no. guys all, oh, okay. You guys all should do that. And remember Google has a thing. If you use Chrome, uh, I'm sure it's available on other uh, browsers too, but Google has a thing specifically that will uh, let you check if any of the passwords you have uh, were part of a reported uh, information breach. I did that, mm -hmm. and I reset the password on our gas company account, mm. and now I can't get in. So that's, that's great. I mean, we get a paper bill, so I'm just going to send it. Why can't you get in? I don't. I can't log in. I can't log in. I wrote down the passwords, which are like you know ridiculous symbols and oh, whatever. Oh, you must have messed up somewhere in there. Uh, no, I think it might actually be on the gas company end. Because, Why'd you call them? Uh, My uh, to people. wait. Can I ask what gas company? No, gas let's company not talk on? about that stuff. Well, no, because well, my gas company. I we'll talk about it no. later. But yes. <laughs> they um. I went to log in once and like they had changed their whole payment for format or something. So like I had to re sign in everything. They're taking bells now. That's right. Uh, and I've it. got lots. <clears throat> Drew says, I'm not seeing any statement from Nintendo in North America. They did provide one, but it is exactly the same as the European one. Word for word. I checked. Uh, finally, my favorite story of the week which should get more attention. I don't care no. if you read it on Go Nintendo or where you read it. I just think you Fridays should. With it. Jason? No, I just think you should read it because it's so damn cool. Uh, maybe it's maybe I'm more tickled by this stuff than other people are. I don't know. All right. So composer Mick Gordon, who worked on Doom 2016 and Doom Eternal, he is the man who did the entire soundtrack. Um, he. Does first off, he does an amazing job with the soundtracks. Unbelievable. His his work in those games is so phenomenal. I haven't even played Doom Eternal yet, but I've been listening to the soundtrack, and my dear lord, I think it's better than the original. Um, but anyway, when the Doom 2016 uh, game came out, people were analyzing the soundtrack, and they noticed that there was some hidden imagery in the songs. If you used a spectrogram and the right frequencies to see these images, he hid, uh, for example, uh, a pentagram, cross, upside down crosses, the number of the beast, all that kind of stuff, because it's doom. Uh, and then, of course, after that, people were like, uh, doom is uh, hiding secret messages to turn your children into Satan worshipers, blah, blah, blah. You know, so now it's true. That's true, yeah. Uh, so the sequel came out, Doom Eternal, and Mr. Gordon is up to his old tricks. Reports came in that one of the songs on the soundtrack, which is called Welcome Home Great Slayer, has a hidden image in it if you view it in a spectrogram. Now, I read uh, 
this is a drawing of a spectrogram. <laughs> I read about this and I was like, well, you know, I know he did this the first time around, but I can't guarantee he actually did it this time. I'm not going to take the Internet's word for it. As I said, I do research. So I got the song. Not the YouTube version. I got the official version of the song. So there's no data mixed with. Um, and I got I went into audacity to use the spectrogram there and I couldn't get it to work properly. So I went out and specifically looked for audio analyzers with sophisticated spectrograms. And I ran a song through and lo and behold, the image was there. The screen cap like un. Yeah, undeniable. Yeah. It, the screen cap in this post, if you go to it, is the one that I took. It is from my computer. I specifically did this screen cap. And the image, I guess this time, to hide another Easter egg but avoid any controversy, is an image from the artwork for Doom 2, the original sequel to Doom. Doom Eternal is a sequel to Doom 2016. So he took artwork from Doom 2, the the sequel to the original Doom, and hit it within one of the songs. I, I really think that they missed their opportunity to call it Doom Deuce. Doom Deuce. <clears throat> so and wait, can we, can we just clar clarify for people who don't understand? We can what is a try. spectrogram, That's and is it not related at all to Spirograph? It is not related to Spirograph. I that love is why. Spirograph. That is why I made that Simpsons joke. I have one at school, and I'm wishing now that I had brought it home with me. Um, and a spectrogram is like a, an analyzer of frequencies in a song, so it gives you a visual representation of the freq frequencies that are being played in a song. But there are audio creation programs and mixers that will allow you to scan in a digital image and give you a sound imprint. So basically you're hearing what a picture sounds like. So he scanned in or he uploaded or uh, whatever, you know, he injected this image from Doom 2 into the end of a song and layered it in with the other parts of the song. And if you put it through the spectrogram, you can see the image. Um, and if you're listening to the song, it just sounds like... Uh, Sounds like a little bit of a weird ending to us, just like but ambient noises and stuff. Yes, it's very the song itself. Oh man, it's a good one. It's it really, really good. It's really good. Uh, uh, but yeah, it's like the last I want to say ten seconds of the song. You can get the image, so you can go do this for yourself if you want. Um, I just love those kind of Easter eggs. It's really cool. And I was familiar with Spectrogram stuff because. I'm a fan of Aphex Twin, and a bazillion years ago, Aphex Twin hid an image of his own face inside one of the songs. Uh, so yeah, very cool Easter egg. Thanks, uh, Mick. Very cool. Is this your favorite Aphex Twin song? Baby, lock the door That's and them, yeah. turn the lights <laughs> down. <laughs> That's their number one hit. Yeah. Um, Autumnal Blake says, "Shame so much of the soundtrack release is mixed by someone else and done terribly." Yeah, Mr. Gordon is not happy about that stuff, but. Uh, you can hear his original vision within the game itself, which is nice. Um, that's your top stories. Man, that story is so damn cool. I think that's so cool, but people don't seem to care about it too much. Oh, I care. I'm not saying care about like me posting it. I'm just saying in general. Like I've seen a story floating around and people are don't I wonder why. Maybe they maybe it just doesn't make any sense. People are like, how do you hide a picture in an image? Or how do you hide a picture in a song? That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Kirby, that is great. I'm glad to see that pop up in the uh, the Discord. <laughs> I uh, yes, I'm a fan of Apex Twin. Uh, I haven't listened in recent years, though. I don't know what his most recent album is. I don't know if he's still doing music, but you know the earlier stuff. Yeah, I listened to a lot of that. I wish the milkman would deliver my milk <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> 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 Thank you. All right, Mom Brain, uh, what have you been playing? Animal Crossing. And, and I mean, is there, I mean, I've kind of talked about it already. Uh, I'm trying to get that five star rating still. Um, I'm, I'm planting a lot of flowers. I got a recipe for the robot hero, but I don't have everything I need to make him. And I can't wait to place him high up on a cliff. I got a Stonehenge somewhere along the line. Ooh. And so, and then I made a stone arch and I got floor lights and I have them like all around my Stonehenge and my stone arch. And I think I'm going to put my robot up there by Stonehenge. I think that's pretty cool. Um, I had, you know, 
I'm not thrilled with all of my Islanders. So, of course, we're all number one, always and forever. I also have Lolly, who I love. I have Gonzo, who I like a lot, too. He's he's coming up there in, in the list. Um, and I have Winnie, who's delightful. Sounds like overall you got a good you got a good island going there. Yeah, I don't really love Igly because I feel like he's a cheap knockoff of Roald's. I mean, he's a right, whatever. Um, I have Olaf, but he's kind of not nice. He does call everybody <coughs> Wiffa, though, and I that I mean, come on, that's nice. And what else are you called? Uh, Turtle Dove. That's Mira right. calls me Turtle Dove. Mira, I could take her leave, but she was <laughs> oh. one of my originals. She was yeah. her and Roald were my originals, so whatever. So listen, I was trying to court other islanders to come be with me, but I I got, you know, I went visiting and I got like a couple that I just was like, no, you're not going to mix well. No, you're not going to mix well. So then of course, I just get an islander like pushed on me. One day I walk by the empty house that Nana left and it's sold. Hi afternoons. It's okay that you're late. Hi highly unlikely. It's okay that you're late. Hey guys. Um so then um, Annalise came to live with me and she's just not really doing it for me. She's a snooty horse and I already have Winnie who's a horse. So I don't really want that. Um, but the name is great, but she's living with you on my Island on the Island. So, uh, I mean, as long as, um, I still diver as, as long uh, I, Oh, Rex, I have Rex. He's pretty nice. He, he loves the bugs. And the other day he asked me to change his catchphrase. So I made it pookie. So he calls me Pookie. Um, so I mean, I'm just I'm just waiting for the right Islander to tell me they want to leave, and for me to you know give them the blessing to just the blessing. to just get out and leave my island. Um, and I'm really hoping to get some kind of a sheep. I don't have any sheep on my island at all, and I feel like I'm missing part of an experience not having any sheep. So. That's where I'm at. Listen, as long as you got Roald, you're okay. He's so beautiful. He's so beautiful. He had fleas twice, three times, and I've helped him out. Um, and and the other day he was walking around in a beautiful blazer and a Ooh. and a skateboard helmet. It was great. <laughs> I'm glad you're having a fun and time. And I don't really pay, particularly care for Igly, so I gave him uh, like a baby onesie. In, in its pink and it has like a bib attached and he put it on and he was walking around in it and licking a lollipop and it was pretty funny. Uh, after Noob says, my brain, if you want my sheep, you can have her. <laughs> wow. Nikki Hill, what have you been wow. playing? I've been, I played some Mario Kart um, 8 Deluxe. Yeah. Played a little bit of Call of Duty Warzone. Yeah. I don't think I played Friday the 13th. We're playing tonight, did, baby. I did play... Uh, can you not interrupt me when I'm in the middle of talking? Oh my gosh. I have spoken. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm sorry. Now I've lost my train of thought. You said, is uh, that what I sound like? And I started playing... Um, is that what I sound like? <laughs> um, is that what I sound like? <laughs> Yeah, well, that's what I sound like, right? Because I'm on I'm on my phone, so it just sounds different. Uh, Bayonetta two. I started playing Bayonetta two. How's it going? I am slowly playing Bayonetta two. I was also in the middle of like a writing project this week, so I was doing that. That took up a lot of my time. Hi, straight also, Jeffin. What's that? I said hi, straight Jeffin. Oh. But I um. I was trying to play Bayonetta, but like, it's really hard for me to play. So like the very opening of that game, there's narration while you're playing. And like, yeah, I couldn't hear the narration. So I'm not like listening and processing it, but there's also subtitles. But if you're going to read the subtitles, then you can't be paying attention to what you're fighting. Oh boy. So what do like, you want them to do? It was just, well, maybe not bombard you with content like that. You know? Okay. Um, and That's something was, was just a little weird with like the the audio. It seems like with like some of the um, <clears throat> the sound design or whatever with like the voices and stuff because it's just I don't know. It just doesn't feel right. Something doesn't feel right. But I, I'm gonna play it. And I'm gonna get through it. Ridley Surya says, "Bah, couldn't tune in to listen to the podcast today, but just popping in to say hi. So hi everyone. Well, hello to you, and you can listen to this later. Well, welcome and uh, get hi, out Rex. of here. Go go take care. Of what you got to take care. Of. <laughs> 
Rex, how you doing? Is I that, mean that in a negative way. Is that it, Nikki Hill? Um, you tell me. Yeah, that's it. What did you play? Um, <clears throat> is Comanche there? No. Nope. What did you play, Rami? Oh, la, 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 la. thanks for asking. Blah, 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 blah. I was waiting for you. You were digging through the sounds there. Come on. No. Fine. Um, what have I been playing? I've been playing Mario Kart 8 the world best <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Josh. A big hello to my <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um I've been playing Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Uh, I was playing with uh, motion controls last night, and it's been a while since I played with motion controls, and I was getting into it. Feels good, man. Um, it was a lot of fun. I, I played for a long time last night. We we had a good crowd going. Every every said hello to highly unlikely. Yes, highly yes, unlikely yes, we did. Yes, we did. Definitely. Um, after noobs. Yeah. Uh, yes. Definitely. Literally, yes. both of them right after one, right after the other. After noobs, have, you're scaring everyone. Have a good night. Really surreal. Um, and I played Call of Duty Warzone, and I am very happy to report. That I got a first place. Our trio got a first place. <coughs> um, the last ones left in the trio. Really Thanks, Josh. Wow. I think it was. Well, I know for sure the last ones left. I'm pretty sure it was a trio. Might have been a quad. But the last ones left were myself and Do Michaels. And we were we had gotten a couple kills and everything. But the circle was getting small. And we were hanging out in there and trying to decide what to do. And we saw a helicopter. So we hopped in a helicopter. And we're trying to stay in the air away from everybody. They can still shoot you down. But luckily, nobody shot us down. But there were eight people left. And the gas was just closing in on the full circle. So we were going to die no matter what. So we bailed out. And I was flying through the air trying to land on a building. And I landed. And, you know, everybody's getting killed by the, by the gas. But I was the last one to die in the gas. So Getting killed by the gas. So our, it was a trio. Our trio won. And it was really funny because Do Michaels died from the gas right before I did. And at the end of a war zone match, they show you a helicopter ride with your team. And they show you like they show the camera pans or the camera zooms in on each person who was part of the winning team. And they showed me and they showed uh, another friend of ours. And then they showed Do, but because Do died at the, literally the last second, <laughs> his seat was just empty. No one... <laughs> No one was there. And he was like, wait a minute, did anybody see me there? I was like, no, you weren't there. So even though we had somebody else on our team who died in the game, it still showed them in a helicopter. But because dude died at literally the last second, he wasn't there. But we won. And I'm very happy we got a win. We've been playing that a good amount too. And that's it. That's all that I've... Yeah, that's all that I... No, you didn't play any Uno. No Uno this week. No, it was Mario Kart and... Uh, Call of Duty. Finally, everybody got into Call of Duty. And Am I the only person in the entire world still playing a Wii U? <laughs> uh, no. I mean, I'm not playing it. I've thought about hooking it up because I had the itch to play Wii Sports lately, and I was like, oh, I should hook up the Wii U. But I haven't yet. Um, all right. That's that. We did all... That's that, that's all. Hey, is nobody going to ask Josh what he played? Josh, what Come did on. you play, my friend? Did you know you can play Tetris for free on Tetris.com? I yes, heard that. I, did, really did. I did not know that. Thanks. Very cool. It, it's very cool. All right. We got our questions this week. Send your questions to go Nintendo questions at gmail.com. Sure. Whatever. Go Nintendo questions at <laughs> gmail.com. Well, 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 they can be about Nintendo, they can be about video games in general, or they can be about it. anything you Sing want. It. They could be about Nintendo, they could be about whatever you want. Just ask your questions and send me emails. Do do ba ba ba. This one's really off the rails. Today. Our regular question comes from Willis this week, and it is specifically. Willis directed at mom brain oh no we know mom brain says hello kitty but which character would she like to say goodbye to the situation mom brain is that hello kitty is facing 10 years in prison you can get her out of this situation but in doing so you need to frame somebody else 
one of these beloved characters, out of these beloved characters, which one would you frame? Your choices are Baby Yoda, Gizmo, Pikachu, Agent Dale Cooper, Greta Thunberg. <laughs> I don't watch. Lord, because he's playing to my soul. <laughs> yeah, right. And Nikki Hill. Pikachu. Wow. Instantly. Instantly. Pikachu. Yeah. Are you? Is that your final answer? You are throwing Pikachu under the bus to save Hello Kitty. Absolutely. I mean, if I have to, then yeah. That's what's going on here. Yeah. Okay. Congratulations, Mom Brain. Thanks to your intervention, Hello Kitty can now carry on running her illegal cockfighting ring. <laughs> are you happy now, Mom Brain? I feel really bad about myself. It. Well, I mean, you threw Pikachu, poor defense, well, I guess not defenseless, poor Pikachu under the bus. Also, Hello Kitty can keep her cockfighting ring going. Look, it's nothing personal. I'm not saying I hate Pokemon. I'm just saying out of that list, Pikachu just doesn't really appeal to me. Wow. All right. Racist against Pokemon. You've heard it here. <laughs> I don't ever in my life want to be associated with the word racist, joking or otherwise. <laughs> Let me say this for the record. Mom Brain is not a racist of Pokemon or anything else. Okay. You happy now? I was thinking about hated. watching Detective Pokemon. Soon. That's not a thing. Detective Pikachu. Uh, that's a, <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> uh, today's Patreon question comes from Gecko Kitsune. Uh, the Patreon, go Nintendo. Nope, patreon.com slash go Nintendo. Um, you can join for a buck and come have some fun and leave questions. Uh, Gecko Kitsune says, You are going on a road trip. You get to take a Game Boy. Oh, are Raw Meat and Nikki Hill going to run out of gas while I'm asleep in the back seat oh, and not tell it's me? It's very likely. Oh, boy. <laughs> you get to take a Game Boy and three games. Which three games do you pick? Since someone is bound to ask, the road trip is roughly four to six hours. And no, oh. you aren't the one driving. Game Boy Advance can be substituted if Game Boy is too retro for someone. Game Boy is not too retro for any of us at this table. I will tell you that I feel like four to six hours does not necessarily constitute a road trip. Four hours doesn't. That's great. Six, maybe. That's great, Mom Brain. And I will tell you that I have brought my Game Boy and fists full of batteries on many a road trip. As a kid. But what three games are you bringing? Tetris. Yeah. For sure. Uh, Super Mario. What is that? World Super Mario. Nope. The first one? Yeah. Land. Land. And Cat Trap. I knew Cat Trap was going to be in there. Uh, Nikki Hill, do you have answers or should I wait? Um, Tetris for sure. Okay. Uh, I think I'd take the Batman the Animated Series game, mostly because I never really got past like the second level, but I loved watching the intro. Oh, perfect time to try and uh, get past it. And the music is, uh, the music is like straight from the cartoon, which is really straight from the Danny Elfman soundtrack. So loved it. And like the animation in that was great. Um, I'm going to have then, to check uh, that out. I'm not too familiar with it. Oh, it's so good. And then uh, I don't know what the third one would be. I can't think right now. I can't think. But maybe uh, one of those terrible Ren and Stimpy games. Why not? Oh, no. Uh, I would take Tetris. So we're all in agreement on Tetris because you can play that forever. Um, I I don't know what other two to take. I want things that you know can be repeatedly played. Like I wouldn't want a Super Mario Land or a, uh, Pokemon because... You know, they have a definitive end. I, and I'm struggling to think of oh things that. What are you putting something in a microwave? <laughs> I, I just want a whole recording of me doing things <laughs> and you thinking you know what I'm doing. Closing no, your I water opened, bottle? I opened my dining room door because I went uh, to get my GameCube like? or my Game Boy, which I think I have in here, so that I can see what games I actually have. Um,. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to think this. of what like other puzzle games I played on the Game Boy. I'm really Doctor Mario. I don't like Doctor oh, right. Mario. Uh I'm really Cat Trap. Yeah, but Cat Trap has a definitive end. I'm struggling to come up with anything that makes sense besides Tetris. And I've played so many Game Boy games. Are there Game Boy games that I play over and over and over again, like things that I don't get tired of? 
I really can't. I really can't. I'll have to like look at a list of Game Boy games to see what makes sense. I'm. I can usually pull a couple answers out, but I, I don't have anything that's uh, that's really satisfying my my cravings for. Oh, well, it's only four to six hours, I guess. So, so from the games that I have, like I don't have a lot of games. I had Wario Land. Uh, a Star Wars game, which I don't think I ever really played too much of. But Kirby's Dream Land, that's a classic. That is a good one. Um, and also Fall of the Foot Clan, but I don't really remember that one as much. It's funny. <laughs> I thought of Fall of the Foot Clan, but I'm like, ah, that one's really short, although I really do like the game. I also thought of Lock... play it over and over. I thought of Lock and Chase, which is like a Pac-Man style game, which I really love as well. But I was like, eh, that's short. I also thought of Kid Dracula, which is also very short, but I love that game. So I don't know. Tetris is the only solid one I got. That's it. Man. Let me blow the dust off this into my microphone. <laughs> All right. That's our questions. Again, send your questions to go Nintendo questions at gmail.com. Uh, Mom well, Brain. Yes. It's time. Time for what? <clears throat> time for music. Oh, okay. Let me just get myself. Oh, surprised you again. Music came up and just weren't, I was, weren't ready for it. I was enjoying. The moment. I'm enjoying our moment. Are you? Yes. I'm so glad. Okay. I got music. You want to hear it? You want to hear it? it? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Is that what I sound like? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So our first song comes from Autumnal Blake. I don't know. Is it a portable? No. Oh, what system? Switch. Oh, man, I don't know. 20XX. No. Man, I love it. Is it first party? Yep. It's first party, huh? Okay, it's not Mario. Nope. It's not Zelda. Nope. Not Metroid. Nope. Not Kirby. Uh, uh Pokemon. Nope. Luigi's Mansion 3. Nope. Xenoblade. Nope. It's first party, you said? Yes, I did. Smash Brothers. Nope. Animal Crossing. <laughs> no. Donkey Kong. Nope. What the hell is this? Yoshi, Yoshi's Crafted World? Nope. Did I say Zelda? It's not. Splatoon? Nope. That ain't gonna help you. Alright, we don't know. Fine. Fine. Ring Fit Adventure. Ah. Uh... That was from Autumnal Blake, and it was Ring Fit Adventure. Send your music to gnpodcastmusic at gmail.com. Huh? gnpodcastmusic at gmail.com. I've got bad news. What? My Game Boy doesn't work. For some reason, a Game Boy can get blown up in in uh, <laughs> the Gulf in, War. In war, but it, this one got a little bit of battery acid in it and it's done. You can clean the contacts. I had that happen with no, mine. No, I don't think it's the contacts. I think it got into uh, into like the uh, the inner the workings. workings. We got nothing but time now, so tinker around. Here I've comes one from Blood Ocean now. 07. Please tell me you don't know what this is. <laughs> hey, Nikki Hill, just a favor. While you're cleaning out your Game Boy, could you mute your microphone? <laughs> How about you mute my mic? You, you mute me. I'm a mirror, boy. Uh, it's the last story? Yes. Yeah, baby. That 
that was the last story on the Wii, and it was from Blood Ocean 07. Here comes one from Freddy Fro, who's been having fun, I believe, playing this game. Yeah. <laughs> This has to be affordable. It could be. Switch? Yeah. <laughs> Is it from Platinum? I don't know. It's not first party. I don't think so. Man, it's good. I like it. Man, I'm at a loss. It's an RPG. I don't think so. Whenever you have a guitar like that, it makes me think surfing, but I know it's not surfing. I don't think so. We don't know. Go ahead. It is speedrunners. Oh. That's what I said. I was on mute. You didn't hear me. I said speedrunners. <laughs> I haven't played that game yet. I didn't know it had such an awesome soundtrack. That's a reason to check it out. Here's a little jam from Glitter Bubble 3. <laughs> Electroplankton. Done. <Yeah. laughs> Go on. Insecticide. No. Portable? 64. Uh, Win back. No. Mission Impossible. No. Snowboard Kids. No. Bomberman. No. Goldeneye. No. James Bond something. No. Gemini. No. Whatever. Is it licensed? Lover. No. Is it about a spy? I don't think so. Perfect dark. This no. ain't perfect dark. James Bond. No. Oh, I like that. Bubsy. No. 64? Uh, Go ahead. We don't know. Uh, Beetle Adventure Racing. Milo's Astro Lanes. Oh, my God. It's a bowling game. I would have never guessed that. Here comes one what? from... Is that the same Milo from the... Uh... Microsoft stuff? Yeah, yeah, definitely. This one comes from Daddy Jet Jaguar. Oh, focus all tax on Daddy. Finally, one I know. This has to be a WarioWare? Yeah. Just the original, I guess? Smooth moves. Oh, well, the answer is no, then. <laughs> you gotta let me guess. I would have got there. Thank God I... Man, we're doing bad. That was WarioWare Smooth Moves on the Wii from Daddy Jaguar. Here comes one from Mikey3319. <laughs> Straight Jevin says, don't wake Daddy. Super Nintendo? Yeah. Licensed? I think so. I mean, you need to think so. I don't know for sure. Is it a movie? I don't know. I think it is. <laughs> oh, boy. Total Recall. Robocop. No. One more man. Super Nintendo. No. But she's not sure if it's a movie, so. Jurassic Park. Well, she would no. know that's a movie. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely a movie as well. Uh Cliffhanger. Yes. Oh my god. Whoa. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it was Cliffhanger on from Mikey3319. Here's one from Pratt Trap. I may not always love you, but long as there are stars above you. Bioshock? Uh -huh. Yes. <laughs> Bioshock Infinite? Yeah. <laughs> Jumping the gun on that one a little bit, Pratt Trap. <laughs> Is that actually coming? Do we know confirmed? Yeah, it's 100% confirmed. When? Here's, Do we know when? I want to say next month. 
Oh, so we still might be in quarantine. Perfect. <laughs> so that was from Pratt Trap, and it was Bioshock. All the Infinite. Bioshock games are uh, the first two and Infinite. Everybody thought you had started singing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I don't know the song well enough. But they didn't know that we. I was playing a song. Uh, and thought you were just singing. This one comes from Sheikah Warrior. Is this really this simple? Excite bike? Yeah. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I could have taken that one. Yeah, you heard the song last night. No, I didn't play this level last night. But, uh, but I know it. Oh, boy. Somebody stepped on the dog's tail. Street bread spotted. That I'm was more nervous than a cat warrior. in a room full of rocking chairs. And, uh, I love that saying. Uh, Uncle Dick used to say, nervous is a dog shoveling a peach pit. Mm. Mm. Uh-huh. Uh, so this one, <laughs> that was from Chica Warrior, and it was Excite Bike. I thought Nikki Hill would like that. <laughs> yep. This, this next song comes from Ted, who, via the Patreon, is known as Gecko Kitsune. Oh, so it's a big day for right? him. Oh, this is one of my favorite soundtracks. This is, uh, what the hell is this game called? Sonic Rush? Yeah. Let it go a little bit. Other words? There are, yeah. Here comes the words. What a cool soundtrack. On the DS. Alright. I haven't listened to that soundtrack in a while. I'm going to listen. Are you threatening me? That is something I'm going to listen to while I work now. Okay, so that was uh, Sonic Rush, and that was sent from Gekko Gekko Kitsune. And the last song that we have today is from Wired. I'm just going to get some SteamWorld game off the bat. Red Steel 2. No. Red Steel. No. It's a core game. No. Is it cowboy related? Not particularly. I'm a cowboy. Is it Wild West related? I don't think so. This might be a part that is. The game itself is not. Okay. Can't wait to find out that it is. It's not first party, right? No, this isn't first party. I'm sorry, my brain. He gets real fresh. <laughs> I'm okay, joking. Man, I got uh, Mushroom Man. How about that? Nope. I don't remember if I played that. I did. There were so many games with so much promise. You just said you don't know if you played it, so how do you know that the promise wasn't fulfilled? Well, you didn't sound too thrilled about it. I didn't say you had promise. (laughs) Uh, I'm going to go with Insecticide again. Nope. How about Deadly Creatures? Uh-uh. I don't know. Go ahead. Boom Blocks. <gasps> what? Well, it did have a Wild West themed level. Man, how did I not get Boom Blocks? I love that game. Some good guesses Apparently in the chat now that I don't love it enough. <laughs> Brought to you by Steven Spielberg. Autumnal Blake says final score 5 out of 10. Eek. What a load of donkey dust. Uh, all right. Well, uh, that's another one, guys. We did it. Yeah, we sure did. What are you guys doing tonight? <laughs> we're playing Friday the 13th. I know, I'm but before reading, that, I, I think I might. What's that? I'm reading. I downloaded a new book. You think you what might? You... you think you might what, Nikki Hill? Get a pizza. Ooh. I'm actually going to do some research. I'm looking to buy a very inexpensive espresso machine. All right. We'll continue oh, this goodness. after the uh, show. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Have a good, safe week. And everybody stay safe and have a good one. Be and, good. Ha- and be safe. And everybody stay yeah. safe. And everyone be safe. Everyone be safe. Be safe. Blah, 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 blah.
<laughs> that got in there because my mouse wasn't working. Excellent. All right, Mom Brain, you go ahead. Go ahead, what? Yeah, I so said Mom Brain. Brain. You were telling me. When you say story. espresso, you, you mean like a like a like a countertop machine or like the like the little uh, the one that you put on the stove? No, not a maca pot. An actual machine with like a milk frother. I've oh, wanted boy. one always. I knight you. Yeah. Um, but you what's, know what's the opposite of a sir, madam? Lady, lady espresso. Now drink from the nozzle. Oh, here it comes! <laughs> oh my god, that would hurt so much. Uh, uh, yo, 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 yo. Uh, Hyling Tom says your episodes during quarantine remind me of Conan O'Brien's episodes during the writer's strike. Fantastic, funny, heartfelt content. Y'all are rising to the occasion in auspicious times. Be safe with a green heart. Well, thank you. That's a high compliment. Um, I appreciate that, but I think uh, my isolation has caused me to bring up some inappropriate things and I apologize. Uh, Robot Face, I will have to listen to that. Um, Malik Malik Halo wants to know what was said. Well, it's the after show. You can say it if you want now. Waxer says he misses Kirby. We all miss Kirby. What'd you get? What do you you have? Group photo. Get me in on that. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. Oh, oh, oh. Mm. I, really I have a little bit of echo it. here. I want a pizza now. Do we have hot dogs? I want hot dogs. No. I want pizza. We have bacon? Yeah. <gasps> what the heck? You didn't put me in the picture. You're there. I'm sure you're there, definitely. Give me pizza. <laughs> I want pizza. P I Z Z A. Let's do your favorite and let's. Order Domino's. Okay. Mom Rain's favorite is Domino's. I want everybody to know that. She says nobody makes a better pizza. That's what? not true. That's well, true. Definitely. Uh, that is not correct. Uh, After Noob says wrap bacon around hot dogs and put them on a pizza. Now, see, that is next level After thinking. Noobs, I thought we were friends. That's what see, there's, <laughs> there's, a, there's a restaurant by me, a pizza restaurant that'll do something like that if you ask them to. Well, they give you a uh, doggy bag to vomit into afterwards. Oh, come on. It's delicious. All right, everybody. You have a great weekend. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Oh, my gosh. Great gamer. I, that's I, almost exactly like the one I was looking at. Play some games. Hang out with friends and family virtually. Uh, take a breath. Uh, take a breast. Take a break. Take a rest. Hey, relax. Hello. You deserve it. We'll see you next week. Goodbye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Goodbye, everybody. Um.